the unseen threads that bind ADHD and childhood trauma. ADHD and childhood trauma are two complex conditions that are often intertwined, like unseen threads binding struggling individuals in a web of challenges. By illuminating their connections and providing coping strategies and compassion, we can help unravel their tight grip. ADHD involves more than just hyperactivity and distractibility, encompassing wide-ranging symptoms like emotional dysregulation, disorganization, and impulse control issues. Its tendrils often stretch into adultude, impacting jobs, relationships, and mental health. Those battling ADHD describe lives of chaotic disarray, fighting to stay afloat amid constantly crashing waves. ADHD has neurobiological underpinnings, including disruptions in dopamine pathways and deficiencies in executive functioning areas of the brain. Environmental factors like childhood stress and trauma likely interact with genetic predispositions, further complicating its development. Brain imaging shows those with ADHD have structural and functional differences compared to typical brains. Childhood trauma includes distressing events like abuse, neglect, household dysfunction, parental laws, or abandonment. Like an earthquake permanently altering a landscape, these adverse experiences rewear the nervous system and psychology of the developing child with lifelong echoes. Mood disorders, insecure attachment styles, and PTSD often emerge from such complex trauma. When ADHD and childhood trauma coexist, the challenges compound exponentially. It creates a bewildering knot of overlapping symptoms and obstacles. For instance, trauma-related anxiety or emotional dysregulation can exacerbate the distractibility, disorganization, and impulsiveness of ADHD. Effective treatment requires carefully teasing apart the knots through integrated therapies and support. Research shows childhood trauma significantly increases the risk of developing ADHD later in life. Early traumatic stress may alter brain development trajectories in areas like the prefrontal cortex that govern concentration, working memory, and organization. Trauma-induced elevations in stress hormones may also generate ADHD-like symptoms. Individuals facing both ADHD and PTSD describe harrowing psychological mazes, attempting to isolate and resolve symptoms belonging to each condition. Hypervigilance and emotional volatility characteristic of PTSD often feed the distractibility, emotionality, and restlessness of ADHD. Integrated treatment addressing both concurrent diagnoses is imperative. A toolbox of ADHD and trauma coping strategies helps individuals manage challenging symptom clusters. Physical exercise boosts mood while improving focus. Mindfulness quiets the mind. Maintaining routines creates needed structure. Medication can help ameliorate distracting and impulsive symptoms. Talk therapy builds skills, managing emotions, relationships, and trauma triggers. Evidence-based therapies like CBT, EMDR, and brain spotting help reprocess traumas, gain insights into subconscious connections, and acquire coping mechanisms to better manage distressing symptoms. Finding the right therapeutic approach provides a compass through the wilderness of co-occurring ADHD and trauma-related struggles. A self-care regimen is vital for those dealing with ADHD and childhood trauma. Regular exercise, healthy sleep habits, proper nutrition, meditation, and yoga, positive social connections, journaling, and creative arts help stabilize mood and allow holistic healing. Self-compassion is equally important, as both conditions amplify tendencies towards self-criticism. While concurrent ADHD and trauma present formidable challenges, many leverage their struggles into post-traumatic growth by developing greater resilience, empathy, insight, meaning, and perseverance through the process of resting back control of their lives and conditions. Their journeys showcase the remarkable adaptability of the human spirit. Looking back with deeper understanding of ADHD's neurological components, and childhood trauma's damaging psycho-emotional effects allows individuals to forgive themselves for prior difficulties 
and build motivation to continue implementing lifestyle changes, therapeutic techniques, and medication to forge stability. It shifts perspective from self-blame to self-care. Public misconceptions viewing ADHD as just bad behavior or trauma, responses as personal weakness, perpetuate stigma. We must replace judgment with compassion. ADHD and trauma symptoms represent adaptations to neurobiological disruptions and distressing adverse events, not individual faults. Reframing them as conditions to manage rather than personal flaws to condemn is crucial. We all have a role in building supportive communities that foster inclusion, encourage openness, and normalize discussions around mental health. Listening with empathy and sharing resources helps people feel understood and supported, often for the first time. Formerly silenced voices can find strength in solidarity. Creating more psychologically safe, trauma-informed public spaces and practices helps prevent adverse childhood events that often catalyze lifelong mental health struggles. Trauma is not destined or unavoidable. With greater social protections and early interventions, countless needless traumas could be averted, vastly improving lives. While progress takes time, each small step stacks atop another into massive change over time. Sharing knowledge combats stigma. Modeling understanding fosters acceptance. Taking time to listen supports someone in crisis. Small hands-off help uplift heavy hearts. Together, we can unravel the threads binding ADHD and trauma. The journey toward mental wellness is not linear, but filled with ups and downs to navigate. Patience and self-compassion are key. We must appreciate strengths cultivated through personal struggles like resilience, empathy, and insight. Reframing neurodiversity as an asset, not liability, seeds hope. Healing begins from within. Through ongoing education and open conversations, we expand our collective understanding of ADHD and trauma's complex interplay. Bringing light to these unseen threads allows us to cut loose their binding grip through compassion, treatment, and support networks. The future is not predetermined. It is a garden we can cultivate through planting seeds of change. We covered immense ground exploring ADHD, childhood trauma, and their potent connections that impact millions worldwide. But this journey does not end here. By sharing what we've learned and taking small actions in our everyday lives, we can unravel their tight grip and build communities that foster acceptance and mental wellness. Progress takes all of us. Are you ready to help enact change?